Football now, Mikael Antonio, Kemar Roof, Kevin Stewart and Jordan Cousins are the new additions to the Reggae Boys provisional 60-man roster for the 2021 CONCACAF Gold Cup. As Simon Preston reports, 11 local-based players are also in the running for places in the final 23-man squad. After much anticipation, 31-year-old forward Mikel Antonio, who netted 10 goals in 25 appearances to help English Premier League campaigners West Ham United secure Europa League football for next season, has been added to Jamaica's provisional squad of 60 ahead of the Gold Cup. 28-year-old striker Kemar Roof, who netted 18 goals to help Rangers win the Scottish Premiership and a spot in next season's Champions League, is also named. Holding midfielders Kevin Stewart of Blackpool and Jordan Cousins of Wigan Athletic are also in the mix. The other European-based players are Leon Bailey, Dylan Barnes, Amari Bell, Norman Campbell, Andre Gray, Wes Harding, Michael Hector, Daniel Johnson, Tyreek McGee, Greg Lee, Jamal Lowe, Adrian Mariapa, Dwayne Miller, Liam Moore, Shamar Nicholson, Deva Orgill, Casey Palmer, Kahim Paris, Ethan Pinnock, Bobby Reed, Curtis Tilt and Blair Turgot. The locally based players are Akeem Chambers, Kimar Foster, Kevon Isaacs, Luca Levy, Ricardo Morris, Colorado Murray, Ladale Ritchie, Ajani Talbot, Dennis Taylor, Jadine White and Shivani Willis. The rest of the squad reads Amal Knight, Kevon Lambert, Kimar Lawrence, Damian Lowe, Kemal Malcolm, Siobhan Marsh, Ravel Morrison, Alvas Powell, Peter Lee Vassell, Lamar Walker, Javon Watson, Devon Williams, Romario Williams, Jashawn Anglin, Andre Blake, Brian Brown, Javain Brown, Corey Burke, Javon East, O'Neill Fisher, Junior Flemings, Owain Gordon and Dane Kelly. As it relates to the England-based players, JFF President Michael Ricketts, while keeping his cards close to his chest, says 95% of them have passports and are eligible for the Gold Cup. There are just two players. Um, one is not so much a passport issue, but one is there was an incorrect um, spelling in relation to a grandparent. Uh, we're trying to be uh, dealing with it with some level of urgency. So we can get that one in. And the other one is more of a U.S. Um, visa issue. We're also working on that one. So I'm hopeful that we will be ready 100%. But as it is now, we're 95% ready in terms of, of qualification for eligibility for the World Cup. While praising the quality of the squad, TVJ sports football analyst O'Neill 1878 Meredith feels the selection of the final 23 will be difficult for coach Whitmore. I think with this team and with this roster that we have seen in front of us now, it's going to give the coach some headache in terms of what system to play. We have seen in the past where it's always been a counter-attacking style, but with the quality that we have now and the kind of attacking players that we do have, I think Coach Whitmore will have sleepless nights in terms of setting up his formation because no longer we'll have to sit back and allow teams to come on to us. We have players now within this team that can go forward and take on teams and beat them that way. The 2021 edition of the CONCACAF Gold Cup is slated to run from July 10 to August 1. The Reggae Boys were finalists in 2015 and 2017. Simon Preston reporting for TVJ Sports.